Second day of our hunt with Josh, still trying to get him his first deer. We had to army crawl up this hill this morning to overlook this bottom. It's pretty thick down in there. There's a bunch of cuckle burrs and stuff. There's some of that green marshy vegetation, that wetland vegetation right here below us that we were walking in through this morning. You could see a bunch of deer tracks in it. We're not very far from the parking lot, but there was nobody there this morning. I can't explain it. There's more more pressure here during bow season than there is during gun season. With that high-powered rifle, we can reach out and touch one in that bottom, so probably sit here for a while overlooking this thing. If we see some deer at a distance, we may try to move on them or maybe get a shot. Hoping one comes through into this bottom this morning. There's plenty of tracks down there. They've definitely been doing it. We've seen one deer this morning. There was a doe that came out of this little island of timber in front of us and worked across out here in front of Josh. We've just been sitting up here because we could see so far, just hoping that we would catch a buck cruising across there. But no luck. We've been sitting, it's almost 11 right now. We're gonna go jump in the boat and speed scout a few more areas. Go back over to the same area where we saw that big buck yesterday and see what we can come up with. It's supposed to be hot this afternoon, like 70 degrees, but the wind's going to be blowing 15 miles an hour, it looks like. So I like that. We're going to remain ready and vigilant. Yeah. In case another one does what they did yesterday. <laughs> and we're going to try not to severely injure ourselves going down this hill. <laughs> Guys, 
me and Josh are back out. This is his fourth day hunting. It has been a grind. How many deer have you seen in four days? During shooting time on public, we're up to two. Two deer. Two deer. Two deer in four <laughs> days. Not uncommon on heavily pressured public land, but we're still out here grinding this morning. We've been hunting this river system for the last few days, and we've drove by this ridge up here in the boat like four or five times. Oh, right here, right here, deer, right here, right here. Right here. As you just saw, that was a bit of a cluster. Sitting here doing an interview, and I looked past the GoPro, and the doe was standing there like 25 yards. And I, as you can tell, I'm in between the deer and Josh, because I put the GoPro down. They were straight behind the camera right here. And they were walking to the right, which is going into an even worse position. We should have been in the dang tree saddles this morning. I just don't, I've never been on this ridge before, so I didn't know how it laid out. And we were running short of time, so we just jetted up here quick. Made a quick setup. I mean, they came in pretty dang early. The sun wasn't even up yet. But I don't think they've spooked all the way. They're just in this little ditch in front of us about 80 yards away. We haven't heard them leave, so there's a good chance they're still right there and they may come back up here to investigate. Josh was trying to get a shot, but with me and this big oak tree in the way, it was pretty dang difficult for him to get moved around here. Seeing deer, that's, that's a good thing. I'm gonna shut up and start watching again.
Great shot. Great shot. Dude, you got her. You got her, man. Good shot. You hit her perfect, dude. That's right. <laughs> nice. What a perfect shot. You had to think about it for a little bit, didn't you? Yeah. I wanted to hold out for a buck real bad, but it's been rough out here these last couple days. <laughs> wanted to put some meat in the freezer, so <laughs> that was exciting, <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> Shooting one at that range with the rifle. <laughs> yeah, there was a there was a buck in, in there, but he was he was like a little six or a little seven pointer. He might have been legal, but it was gonna be really close. Like he was he was a year yeah. and a half old buck. That's I figured. That's I wanted to get a look at that buck, but I see she was stomping and literally staring directly at me. You made the right call. I was thinking so, about waiting, trying to tell you to wait for that buck too. But, and of course I didn't know it till after the fact, but right after you shot her and she ran off, I got a good look at him. I don't think he was a legal, legal buck. Yeah. I think he was a six pointer. I think he was like, had three up on the right and three up on the left, but I didn't see brow tines. Dude, I'll take it. Perfect shot. Man. I'll take you it. You went for the turn like me and Greg were talking about. And you nailed her at 15 yards. <laughs> oh man. Freaking knees are shaking. <laughs> that was what three does in that buck, huh? There's a good group of them right there. Yeah, we saw more deer in the last hour than we have all week. Yeah, you gotta hey, hop you... on a plane here soon, and I want to bring some meat back with me. Yeah, well, you are now, brother. <laughs> Take the mask off. Yeah, that was awesome. We worked hard. <laughs> yeah, dude, you we worked hard these last couple days, and you earned that one. No but, doubt. Put a lot of time in. Me and Greg put in a mission yesterday on them kayaks. <laughs> All them hours and days and miles <laughs> paid off. That was awesome. Oh man. You're shaking out, dude. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's uh, awesome. First first deer ever, man. Yep. I better call Greg. See if he's up. He's even awake yet. Let's go. Hello? Oh, Josh smoked one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, 15 yards. Broadside. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, Get your yeah. heart pounding a little bit, Josh. Oh, yeah, I'm shaking right now. I'm pumped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Greg, just, do you know how to get to the boat ramp? Uh, just send me a pin and I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay, I'll send you a pin quick. <laughs> yeah, man, that gets me fired up. You kind of see the process now, though, don't yeah. you? Like, we've been hunting this river for four days mm -hmm. and scouting it for an additional day. This is the only ridge where we haven't found boot tracks, we haven't heard shots, we haven't seen hunters up here. And it's close to the access. Like, it's not very far. We've been going way further. Yeah. We just came up here this morning blind in the dark, having never been up here and figured because there's some cedars over here on private ground we can't hunt it and we figured man if these deer have been getting blasted down here in these bottoms along the edge of this river maybe they'll be up in some of this thick cover and as it got daylight this morning i started looking around me and there's rubs all over this ridge i bet you there's a bunch of acorns and stuff up here too that must have been the case though because those deer are piled into that cedar thicket for sure there's yeah. a bunch of them in there You're right there at that tree she was standing right here and she tore off right down through there. Thanks for letting us use your boat, Jake. Came in handy this morning. motoring out and there's a deer in this river. Dude, that might be your deer. I'm not even kidding. 
That might be your deer. Might have just ran and she might have literally off that ridge. His deer came this direction, and we're not very far from where he shot it. This literally might be his deer. Grab a hold of it. You can. You got it. That's her right there. You think that's her? Yeah, she's still bleeding. Dude, that's. Oh, sorry, Greg. <laughs> 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 is it her yeah it looks like that's your shot yeah she bailed off of that cliff dude hang on i'll uh, start the motor and then we'll motor her over to the bank all right <laughs> that's nuts i was just going along in the boat and looked up up like there's a deer floating in the middle of the river <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's a good thing we decided to go back to the boat to go Greg. I guess so. She ran she she ran right here. I think that might be the blood coming down the cliff right there. Yeah dude, right there on the rock. That's freaking wild. There she is. Big mature doe in the boat, brother. Better go ahead and get her tag since we got her. <laughs> notch the tag? Yeah, wherever it says notch, notch warning, warning or you whatever. You harvested your animal and you're about to notch your permit. Notch, permit notched. I gotta go back up there to get my pack. <laughs> oh yeah. Cause I left it up there. Oh, we'll go funny. get Greg first cause yeah. he's never gonna believe this. Dude, that's so cool. <laughs> Surprise, buddy. <laughs> Fucked up on the nose. <laughs> He's gonna have a heck of a surprise. I do. Sorry, Greg. We wanted to wait for you. <laughs> I don't blame you. She kept running and went off the cliff. We found her in the water on the way to you. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, she looks soaked. Yeah, you can see the blood on the rock where she took a tumble off of it. That's crazy. Congrats, dude. Thank you. That's awesome. So pretty wild. <laughs> Well, I'm hooked, boys. That's, <laughs> the struggle, huh? Yep. Yeah. Makes it that much more rewarding. Heck, that's what hooks you, man, is exactly. the struggle. That's what gets you. Wouldn't be no fun if they were just waiting for us. I was laying in bed last night just thinking, like, how in the heck can we get you a deer? Like, <laughs> I was looking over, like, five or six spots on Onyx. And I finally just was like, man, we got to go back to this spot. We've been spending so much time back here figuring this place out. Surely one of these little ridges is going to have deer on it. Yeah, that's a solid spot. Fine. She was literally floating in the middle of the river right here. <laughs> and if you look at that rock right there where that little tree is growing out, literally just rolled off of that bluff and into the river. Made for an easy retrieval. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect oh, that man. at all. Right oh, here. Literally, yeah, probably right here. She was actually float. She actually she Going was further little, down huh? this way because the current's taking her that way. Yeah. So like she was down here another hundred yards or so. Because we dragged her in. That's right. Because right, you grabbed her by the you gra reached down grabbed her leg to, so that we could pull her to the bank. Yep, she's headed right for the yep. right for the bluff. Man, a lot of blood. Yeah, she made it 200 yards and then bailed into the river. She was right there, floating. Yeah. When we drove out. That's, That's nuts. <laughs> that confirms it's her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We knew that as soon as we got up to it, we saw where the bullet hit. Oh. Heck yeah, dude. Let's That's go awesome. back to your deer. That's a wild one. Reverse, Thanks, guys. <laughs> reverse recovery. <laughs> that was sweet. Are you going back to California now and gonna start chasing blacktails and muleys and stuff out there? Yeah, definitely gonna. Got a little more confidence now and getting after them and trusting the process for sure. This deal had to test your patience a little bit, didn't it? Yep. I mean, I definitely wasn't 
wasn't expecting to get out here and shoot one the first day, but I was definitely hoping or thinking we'd be seeing a little more deer. It was a, definitely a slow couple first days. Averaged a deer a day, if that. Hopefully you got appreciation now for the process on public land though. Oh, yeah. Because like we were talking this morning, we've hunted this whole stretch of river for four, four days. It's just chipping away, chipping away, moving to another spot, seeing if there's people sighing in there, seeing if there's other hunters in there, just kind of trying to avoid the pressure and target those thicker areas where those deer will yard up once they get pressured. Just like that, got in at the right spot down to the last days and made it happen. It's testing my patience for sure, because when you guys texted me last night and said that y'all didn't see anything last night, I was like, dang it, man. Poor Josh is gonna never want to go deer hunting again <laughs> after this experience, but that's, I, I hunted gun season public land last year um, down here and I hunted for six or seven days and I never shot one. Yeah. I mean, there were several days where I didn't see a deer. Just gotta keep after it. I'm excited to get back to California and put all this knowledge to use next deer season. Heck yeah, Hopefully hunting blacktails. Black tail buck, yeah. Nice. Man, I wanna go out there and hunt blacktails sometime. Yeah, that'd be cool. You guys should come out. And we might and do here. a little California turkey deer hunt. Oh, dude, that'd be sick. That'd be sick. sweet. Awesome. So it's excited perfect to day. Learn the gutting and cleaning process also. Oh, yeah. I'm so yeah. for you after that week that we've had. That was pretty it's crazy been a this morning. Awesome experience. Now, not many people can uh, say they <laughs> pulled their first deer out of the river 200 yards from where they shot it. <laughs> that's that's going to be a story to tell for sure. Yeah, that's going to, you're never going to forget that. I ain't never going to forget that. Yeah. I couldn't believe motoring down that river and looking over and seeing her floating in the water <laughs> going by us the other direction. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's awesome. Thank you guys for showing me the ropes and getting out there. Pleasure that to do it. definitely helps uh, help build some confidence and public land stuff ain't easy, but it's rewarding.